What is going on, people? Hustler University chat. Let's call this the HU chat. I saw in the comment about something about a business license. I have a totally, totally different opinion on business licenses. First and foremost, if you are going to start something like a trucking authority where you have a truck, I would say you would go ahead and get a business license and you would incorporate before you, because if you know you're going to do it, that is the type of exposure that demands a license. And also, you need to protect yourself under the umbrella of a corporation. If you're doing, you know, just to give you some general guidelines on when you should get a business license and when you should incorporate. Number one, if your state has some kind of, and there are some places, it's like this. You do business in this jurisdiction, you have to have a business license or they will come after you and stab you in the nuts in the middle of the night with a pitchfork like <laughs> But seriously, no one really enforces that even in the jurisdictions where they have it. I would say if you are buying something, renting a building, anything that you're getting hard assets, go ahead, incorporate and get your business license. Now, if you're doing something like what I do, I recently made so many changes and twists and turns I didn't incorporate Conundrum Media because it just didn't make sense. And then when I started coming up with new ideals, I kind of held off because it's like, if I do this, I want to have the proper cash flow. And proper cash flow is if you're making enough money to pay for your business license and your incorporation, that's a win. That's a good place to be. So I didn't do it until recently, and truth be told, I've actually created new companies. Hustler University is actually a brand new company. It was, well, the name of the corporation is the Hustler Mindset Project, and under that comes University uh, Hustlers University as a DB doing business ass. Because if you're trying to get used to where college, university, or some other thing, you must go to the Board of Regents to get approval, like a little, like a little kid. Like, can I have a lollipop? I was just so disgusted with that. Thoroughly, thoroughly disgusted. But um, I am in some crazy part of Georgia that doesn't make any sense on how to get back on the highway. So I'm gonna have to go all the way up here. But anyway, back to when you should get your business license, when you should incorporate, do these things. Going back, using myself as an example, since uh, Hustler University is coming on board, there will be workshops coming on board. I'll be going out. There's a lot of things that will happen that will dictate and demand that I have a corporate structure. But if you are doing eBay, Amazon, or you have a business ideal that doesn't require you to get a vehicle, to rent any space, pretty much an online business, and you really do not have the potential, and we all have the potential for risk, but ask yourself, if I do this, what is the likelihood that someone would sue me? That is your template. If you're driving a car, limo service, you need license, insurance, and incorporation to separate you from your business. You, that At that point, you need it. But if you're doing a business like pay-per-click or internet marketing, or you know, teaching people how to use Twitter, or teaching people how to use Facebook. I would not get a business license, business checking account, or incorporate until those concepts are earning you money. That is the point that I would incorporate. And to take it even further, I would not incorporate or get a license unless there is a good chance that this is going to be a long-term endeavor. Okay, this is weird. This is strange. Would not let me make that turn. Okay. All right, I think we got this handled now. But essentially, if it's not going to be a long-term endeavor, why are you going to go ahead and file for a corporation? Because once you file for the corporation, every year you've got your renewal fees, the certain things you have to pay. It triggers certain expectations from the government and the state. So why are you going to do that to yourself when you don't even know if you're going to be in the business long term? Why would you do that? 
and the business license, okay? What is a business license? Does the business license bring you any money? Nope. Does the business license come into your warehouse, office, sit at a desk, and produce work? No. A business license is a coupon for you to pay taxes. So why would you go out and get a coupon to pay taxes before you're making any money? Doesn't make any sense. Develop your business concept, develop the cash flow, then get the business license, and then incorporate. You're in a much stronger position. Also, you, you have a better understanding of what you're doing, how you're doing it, and where you stand as a person in terms of, is this business viable? When I was selling contract office furniture, there were many times that people had what I call suck-ass booty business concepts and they were spending $10,000, $15,000, $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 on stuff, office furniture and things they didn't need to start this business before they made their first dollar. Like I talked about in the video that earlier this week, you know, you've got people out there doing this stuff and they haven't earned their first dollar and they're spending all of this money. But once again, if you're doing a franchise, you got to run the building, you have to get the license, you have to incorporate because that a level of risk dictates and demands that you do that. But if you are like me, testing stuff out, I mean, literally, I've tested stuff out for the last five years. Really, I mean, to be honest, I am just really now getting serious because it's like, this doesn't work. This does work. Okay, well, this is cool. Well, no, this isn't cool. Um, perhaps this will, you know, a lot of assumptions have been answered. There's still a ton of assumptions on the table, but I'm on a different table now. So it makes sense to do the incorporation, the LLC. It makes sense to do certain things because now I have a greater direction. I mean, I went ahead and essentially redid the company because Conundrum Media, because it was Conundrum Publishing, it was Conundrum Media. I was just testing, it's like, okay, really, what, what am I gonna do? What am I doing here? Because initially, the goal was to be a published author made that goal happen, did okay with that, and then it was just like, I can do more, and I can do more, okay? Then it was like content media creation, and that's really a fair description of what I do. I create content and training programs as well as write books, so it had to be bigger, and at one point, I'll be straight up with you. I was a little lost because I'm like, where is this going? And I just like, you know what? What do you tell the people in the G-verse? Keep going, keep going, make mistakes. If you make mistakes, learn from the mistakes, keep going. So I just kept going. I know I pissed a lot of you off. You know, it, it, it's just part of the process. Uh, some people didn't like what I did and they left and fair enough, that happens. But I pushed through and I got to a better concept that will help you be more effective. So it was worth it. It was worth the five years. And this is why when people come to me with extremely compressed timelines for making five, 10, 15, $20,000, I giggle, my inner girl comes out and giggles all over the place because it takes time to build a business. It takes time to build a brand. It takes time to learn how to be a business person. The stuff for some people is natural as a duck floating on a pond. But for people like myself, and maybe you, I had this really steep, damn near vertical learning curve of so many things that I had to learn about. So many things I had to embrace. I had to relearn things, unlearn things. And it's just this constant process of development. The It's like a cake that never gets done. It's like parts of it get done and you can cut a few slices off and eat it, but the cake is never done. And it's, it's fun. You learn to live with 
uncertainty. You learn to embrace certain things and it makes you a better person and a better business person. So don't go out and get a business license before you have a valid business concept. Also, if you do have a valid business concept, I would say wait a little bit because you may not like the name. And understand, all this stuff is changeable. People are like, well, you know, I got to pick. It's not like when you're born and your parents give you a name and you're stuck with it. And even in that case, if you want to change it, you can legally change your name if you want to. Most people don't because it will offend the fuck out of their parents. Um, and some of their parents need to be offended. But you may want to take your business in a different direction. Because this is the thing. Like I put off in the video the other day. Uh, what having a business has done for me. I learned so much from failure and experimentation and expo exploration. There was a lot of, of things going on. And I just kept pushing and kept building and kept appreciating the lessons that I learned. Because I don't care if you have a business license. I don't care if you sign this fancy lease in class A space. You do not have a business until you have transactions that results in money going into your bank account. Until that happens, you don't have a business. You can have a logo, you can have a Herman Miller Aaron chairs, you can you can have all of this nice, sexy, snazzy stuff. I mean, your office could be just so snazzy, but you are not making any money. There's no cash flow. There's no proven concept. There's no customer list. There's no email list. There's none of this stuff. And the problem is so many people want to go from ashy to classy with no hesitation. It's just like, and you're done. And it's not like that. Learn to enjoy the journey. Learn to embrace building the business and the things that go along with it because this can be fun. I was having a lunch with someone and we we're talking about business and they was like, well, it's so much risk. And I said, mm, that may be true and may not. If you want to start a trucking authority and you have to spend this money to get the truck, and the business license, and the fuel, your risk level is exponentially much higher than mine with the experimentation of content creation. My thing wasn't really risky. I didn't spend a lot of money to get it started. But once again, I kept a modest lifestyle. And this is something that is lost on many hustlers and entrepreneurs. You are trying to floss like you're the boss before you pay the cost. You can't be the boss before you pay the cost. The cost will come first. The cost will become will come before the boss. It's coming first. I don't care how many times you leap over, leapfrog over it. You might marry someone that can make you a boss, but then your blind spots and deficiencies are going to screw you. So just really really think about that so don't even worry about a business license unless you're addressing something such as a hard asset being a vehicle a business uh, equipment you know if you're gonna start doing certain things that dictate and demand that you have to get those things get them but if you're just coming up with an ideal and you just just make sure you, you can make some cash I mean, how good would you feel when you get your LLC or your incorporation or in your business license and that money comes from business proceeds? And it doesn't come from a savings account. It doesn't come from your job income. It comes from business income. Then you can do the snazzy thing, which is take the business income and keep reinvesting that business income until it creates enough cash flow that you can siphon some off for yourself. I, I advise everyone to start their business small. Unless you just got really, really exceptional abilities. There are people who can uh, comment on this channel if they're watching that I talk them out of quitting their jobs and doing the storage auction full time. I said, do not do that. And it wasn't because the storage auction business wasn't great. It was because they had so much to learn. And you don't have a steady source of income and you're in this vortex of learning all of this stuff the pressure can be immense now I will say there's one exception to that if you're 18 to 30 you have no wife no husband 
no kids, no obligations, go for it. That is the best time in your life to just ball out with your business. Take risk, fail, fall down, because if you fall, only you fall. And many people waste the opportunity of youth that can be used to building stuff for trying to grow up much faster than they should. I say it all the time. I'm a Toys R Us kid. You will see me in the Mickey Mouse shirt in a heartbeat. I am holding on to my inner child with tenacity because once you become an old fogey and you become grown, you stop learning. You stop embracing new technology. You essentially stop living and you just reach this point of stasis that you're just, I'm just here. And it, you know, the, the natural law of the universe is of atrophy. So if you're not improving, developing and pushing and succeeding, you're literally falling apart because you're not trying to grow. Look at a house that no one lives in. It just literally starts to fall apart. Look at cars just left on the street. Tires go flat. I mean, that's the natural state of the universe. If things are not tended to, kept up, they just fall apart. Just fall apart. So hopefully they gave you some insight on how and what and where and what you should do with your business. Now, if you like this channel, there's a few things I'm going to ask of you. Yes, you. Make sure you get your free audio book. Make sure you join Hustlers University, the Facebook group. And if you like this content, hit the tip jar. Just tap that I and uh, you can leave a dollar, five dollars, up to 500 bucks if you're feeling generous. Do it! <laughs> leave that 500 dollars. Go right ahead. And uh, I would appreciate your donation because this is now a going forward, no more ads on the videos. So with that, this is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side.